Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown from Adobe Systems, and this presentation is all about my favorite features in Adobe Photoshop 1.0 for the iPad. Now, my favorite features begin right here on the desktop version of Photoshop because I'm using cloud documents. And as you can see here, I have my cloud document organizer open up. These are all the images I've been working with. I can actually go into a folder right here and look at the images I'm going to open up on the iPad and show you some of my favorite features. So this is where my story begins, right here. I'm going to switch over to the iPad right now, and you can see here all of the same files that you saw in my Cloud Documents Organizer on the desktop. So here we go. My second favorite feature has to be the ability, in this case, to tap on this image and open up a complex layered document. Check this out. I've got multiple layers in multiple groups, and I can scroll down and see all of these different elements. I have multiple layers, special effects, and even type included. You'll notice here I even have a smart object right here. Now, we don't have full support for smart objects, but I can transform and move the smart objects, and if I move them, and send this back to my desktop version of Photoshop, they'll be in the exact position I left them here in Photoshop on my iPad. Excellent. My next favorite feature has to be the ability to select multiple layers, group them together temporarily, and move them as a group. Check this out. For example, with this type, I'm going to swipe here on this text and select multiple layers simply by swiping on the layers as you see here. Then they're now temporarily grouped. I can use my Move tool or Transformation tools and move this around just like this. Fantastic. And of course, my next feature that I really like is the ability to do multiple undo. In this case, I'm going to select the Command key and the letter Z from my keyboard that I'm using here with my iPad to get Command Z to undo. You have a fantastic set of keyboard shortcuts. And you can see all of those keyboard shortcuts over here in the upper right hand corner under View Keyboard Shortcuts. Some great keyboard shortcuts. And if you have a keyboard, you can really get the most out of Photoshop on your iPad. My next favorite feature is the ability to import images from multiple sources like the Creative Cloud, Dropbox, and even your libraries. Over here, I can tap on this icon and bring in images from the camera roll files, libraries, or even the camera. Check this out. I'm going to tap on camera roll, my special effects, and I can bring in an image like this. I then can scale it and rotate the image like this and position it. Of course, after you're done, you'd want to be able to apply a blend mode. I'm going to go right over here to my layer properties right here and apply a blend mode. In this case, Let's use the classic screen just like that. Excellent. And you're done. Next, let's talk about the essential selection tools. I'm going to go down here to this image right here, tap on it. Then I'm going over to my tools over here, double tapping, and for example, selecting the rectangular marquee. So you have your essential tools for making a selection. And once you've made that selection, you can easily mask it just like this. Speaking of masking, let's take a look at some of the essential tools right over here. When I mask, I like to load a selection, and that's critical. Right here, I can load as selection. Let's try a little project here. Let's create a new layer, just like this, and let's fill this current selection with black, for example. I'm going to go ahead and select my bucket tool, tap on the screen, and fill that with black. Next. I'm going to change the stacking order of these two layers right here. Then I'm going to select Deselect down here at the base. Now here comes one of my favorite features. Of course, it's another keyboard shortcut. I'm going to select the arrow tool here at the top. Then I'm going to select the Shift key and the arrow to the right. Check this out. I can nudge layers accurately with my arrow keys on a keyboard. That is really, really fantastic. 
So that is definitely one of my favorite features, the ability to nudge layers with a keyboard. Let's then check out this feature. Once you've created a layer, in this case filled with black, I'd like to soften that a bit with a Gaussian blur. Tapping here, I can then run a Gaussian blur on a layer, another essential tool for creating masks and special effects is Gaussian Blur, and it's here in Photoshop for the iPad. I'm going to select Done. That looks great. I can then reposition this, but I can also invert this current layer again with another amazing keyboard shortcut of Command-I, just like that. I can then target this layer, transform it just slightly like this, select Done, and let's finish it off by changing its opacity. Of course, from our blending options here, I can then reduce its opacity like that. Done. Let's take a look at my next favorite feature that's all about masking. I'm going to hide my layer properties just like that. Let's go up here to the top. I'm going to come up here and turn on the visibility of this layer right here. Then I'm going to apply a mask to this layer like this. Then using one of my brushes here, in this case the splatter texture brush, I'm going to go in with black and start to paint here just like this. I can create a really interesting mask and of course I can use the Apple Pencil tool to create this effect. And with all of the options available you get even more control. Done. My next favorite feature has to be the gradient tool. I can use it within my images as well as within my mask. Check this out. With the gradient tool, I can tap and drag and create a simple gradient mask as we see here for special effects. Done. Now finally, my final favorite feature here in Photoshop on the iPad has to be, of course, a keyboard shortcut. I target this layer and turn on the visibility of this topmost layer and I'm going to use the shift key and the minus key to cycle through all of the blend modes. I love to use blend modes and I have to have the ability to see all of them because you never know what incredible blend mode you're going to get by trying all of them easily and quickly. So there you have it. Russell Preston Brown's favorite features in the new version of Adobe Photoshop 1.0 here for the iPad. Give it a try.